back to part four of the dental scrap recovery and refining. I'm adding some hydrochloric acid to our uh, mixed black PGM powders in here. We've got a stir bar. I'm going to drop that in and start the stirring. The next step, what we're going to do is measure out some 29% hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to go with about uh, maybe 200 milliliters. I've got my uh, delivery apparatus set up outside the fume hood. We're going to add the uh, hydrogen peroxide to this funnel. got my funnel set up outside of the fume hood so I don't have to be in there with it. So now what we're going to do is insert our delivery tube to our reaction beaker. Now what I'll do is I'll open this valve and we'll start dripping hydrogen peroxide down into our beaker. We're going to use hydrogen peroxide this time instead of nitric acid to dissolve the mixed black PGM powders. I'm initiating the trickle drop by drop of hydrogen peroxide. Here we go. Got all the uh, hydrogen peroxide down inside of our beaker now. And so we're going to just let this simmer on high heat for a little while because I need to evaporate this down so that I have a solution that will have 20 grams or 20 milliliters per gram of metal. So that means I've got to evaporate it down to about 156 milliliters. And that's a critical concentration for these metals uh, in order for the next step to work properly. Well, I got busy doing something else, wasn't paying attention, and I boiled it down to dryness. I've allowed it to cool off to ambient temperature. Now we're going to sit it down here and figure out what to do next.
try putting it back up on the heat now. I think I've got everything uh, to dissolve properly now. I don't think we lost anything. So I'm gonna pull this down off the heat. And we're gonna set it down here and let it cool off. Now what we'll do is filter our solution through this funnel uh, into a, uh, a fleeker. It's neither flask nor beaker. Here's our solution. Got all the uh, solution pulled through that filter. If you look in here, I've got some uh, red colored material. This may be rhodium. I don't know, I don't have any experience with rhodium. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But we're gonna set this aside for right now. And uh, I've got most of the solution rinsed down into my fleeker take this funnel off of here and put it in this little container and this will be our main solution now that we'll be working with I'm gonna get a little of this solution on a piece of filter paper I'm gonna test this with Stannis You see I've got a very dark stain going on there between orange and brown, which tells me that there's uh, platinum and palladium in here. Just to show you what this solution has in it, get a little of this on a piece of filter paper. It's not quite as dark as you can see, but it does have some precious metals in it do now is transfer our main solution into a small clean beaker and I'm shooting for about 150 milliliters of solution here to get the correct concentration. this filter a little better with some hydrochloric acid. I need this concentrated to 150 milliliters or so. So I'm going to set it up on the heat, on low heat this time, and we're going to evaporate this solution down. And then once we get going, we'll add the rest of this in there to include it in our uh, refining. Got this down to the desired concentration. Now what I'll do is I'm going to pull it down off this heat. And we're going to let this cool off. I've got the solution cooling off in an ice bath. And so now what we're going to do is make a saturated solution of ammonium chloride.
Now we're gonna add some distilled water to this ammonium chloride. I've got our ammonium chloride prepared. Now what we'll do is pull our solution. It's been chilled. set it on this uh, dish right here. Here we go, we're gonna add the ammonium chloride to the solution. And we should see a uh, precipitation of some platinum here. And I need to add an excess of ammonium chloride because that will be required for the next step in the process when we go after the plating. All right, here we go. Here goes the ammonium chloride. Precipitate in here, give it a stir. Okay, these are needle like crystals instead of the nice fine grained yellow platinum hexachloroplatinate that I'm used to seeing. Those crystals are not what we want. They are kind of neat to look at. Little fine little needle-like crystals of some compound of platinum. I'm not sure what it is. This is not desirable. So now we got to back up and punt and figure out what we got to do next to get this uh, to get this correct. This is the condition I think I have. If the orange yellow PT salt is appearing with the usual suspect thick PD2, which is I think what that is right there thick needle-like crystals. Then you have to dilute it a bit with some 50-50 distilled water and hydrochloric acid and give it a little heat until the thick PD2 salt disappears and then we go for filtration to get the platinum salt, if any, out of our solution here. All right? And it says, it goes on to say that if at any concentration level, there's no indication of the orange-yellow PT, fine-grained platinum salt. And you can safely concur that there's no platinum, and it's or it's in mil or micrograms. Then you can go straight ahead and start your chlorine addition without filtering for palladium precipitation. So what I'll do is mix up a little bit of 50/50 uh, distilled water and hydrochloric acid. Now what we'll do is take our crystals here, and put it up on a little bit of low heat. I'm adding a little bit of the hydrochloric acid and water to this, see if we get those crystals to clear up. Okay, 
today are only added about uh, 40 milliliters of that 50-50 dilute hydrochloric acid solution. And I got all those crystals to redissolve. So I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to let this cool off for a few minutes. I've allowed this to cool a little bit. And as you can see, the crystal formation has reappeared. So I think what we'll do is set this up on the uh, heat. And I'm going to add small doses of the hydrochloric acid to this. And we're going to try to uh, get those crystals to clear up. Hydrochloric acid to look. And uh, once we get them cleared up, then we'll be ready for the next step. And I think what we'll do here, we're going to call it call this a part four and I'll keep working on this until I get those crystals completely dissolved. You see them down there reforming. And uh, once I get this stuff completely dissolved, then we'll go to the next step. And so this will conclude part four of the dental scrap recovery and refining series. Thank you for watching.